and tragedy in New York. Just an hour before the arrival of astronaut John Glenn's plane, a jetliner crashes on takeoff from a nearby airport, killing all 95 aboard. Eyewitnesses say that the giant plane had climbed to about 700 feet and had started to bank to the left when it suddenly nosed down and plunged vertically into Jamaica Bay. So great was the force of the crash that a great spout of water shot 200 feet into the sky. It was the greatest single plane disaster in the nation's history and recalled the worst, the two-plane collision over nearby Brooklyn in 1960 when 134 persons died. Scores of bodies are still missing and skin divers are called to probe the muddy bottom. came scant minutes after takeoff before the pilot could even report his departure time. It was a sunny, crystal clear morning with unlimited visibility. The flight recording tape is the only hope that some answer may be found to the mysterious plunge. 